Hi everyone, in this video we will discuss the problem swapping pairs make some equal. Previously this problem has been asked in Amazon. So let us discuss this problem and see how we can solve it. It's a very interesting problem. So it says that will be given two arrays. The first array is named as array A and it has got n elements inside it. Then after that we have got another array, let's say array B and it has got m elements. The task is to check if the pair of values the task is to check if the if a pair of values exist such that when I'll swap the elements, uh, one element from the array A and another element from array B, if I'll swap them uh, into other arrays, then the sum of both the arrays become equal. Okay. For example, if you will see the test case, let's say I have got 5, then I have got uh, 7, 4, 6. Let's say the first array is like this and the second array is like what? Let's say 1, then 2, then 3 and then 8. So the sum of the first array is how much? The sum of the first array is 12 and 10, 22. Now the sum of the second array is how much? The sum of second array is basically uh, 3 plus 1, 4, 4 plus 2, 6. Uh, so that is nothing but 14. If I will swap, so let's say if I'm swapping the elements and I swap the element uh, 6 from the first array and 2 from the second array, then what will happen? If I swap uh, 6 and 2, so in that case, 2 will come here and 6 will come here. Now the new sum will be how much? Now the new sum here will be 5 plus uh, 7 that is 12, 12 plus 6 will be nothing but 18 and then here this will be how much? Uh, 18 as well. So you can see that the total sum in both the arrays will become same. So I have to find whether there exists two element uh, like one element in the array and another element in the array B such that if I swap them then the sum of both the arrays becomes the same. So what can I do for this? First of all I can say that I can apply two pointers because I have to choose one ith element from the first array and some j element from the second array, right? And in, or, in order to do this task very efficiently, we can always apply two pointer approach for such, such kind of problem. Because we have to decide whether we should take the ith element or we should move to the next ith element. In the second array also, we have to decide whether we have to take the current ith element or we have to move to another. So we have to make the decision based on the data. So let's say that we have been given this array. So let's write the array in the ascending order. So first array will be what, four. Then after that we'll have uh, five then 6 and 7. Suppose I have sorted the first array and obviously I know the sum 1 is how much? 22. Then I know that sum 2 is how much? Already it is 14 right now. Then let's talk about the second array. Second array will be 1, 2, 3 and 8. 1, then 2 and then 3 and then 8. This is how the second array looks like. Now what will happen further? Now after this, uh, if you see, so these are both the arrays, right? Sum 1 and sum 2. Now after this, what you will do is you will start iterating. So you will assume that you are at the ith element of the first array and at the jth element of the second array. So you are swapping both of them. So in that case, what will happen? You will observe that you will subtract ai from the first array because ai is going to get transferred to the second array, the element ai. So that is why from the sum 1, you will subtract ai and you will add bj, correct? And another, th another thing that you will do is from the second array, you will subtract bj because the jth element is going to get removed and the ith element is going to get added from the first array. So this is the change in the sum 1 and sum 2 respectively. So let's see what will happen here. If you have got ith element here and jth element here. Now what happens? Uh, if you see here, so sum 1 will be how much? 22 minus what? 4 plus 1. So it will be how much? It will become 22 minus 4 is 18, 18 plus 1, 19. Then sum 2 would be how much? The second uh, array sum will be 14 minus 1 plus 4. So 14 minus 1 is 13, 13 plus 4 is 17. So am I getting the sums as equal? No, the sum uh, of the first array after the change and sum of the second array after the change, they are not the same. If they are not the same, then I need to observe that the second, array, like the first array is having more value. After the swap, the first array is having more value. So what does this mean? Since the first array is having more value, if you see this is value 1 and this is value 2. So if the first array after the swap, after swapping the ith element and the jth element, if you observe that ith element of the first array gets into the second array and jth element of the second array comes in the first array, then after that the sum of the first array increases. If the sum of the first array increases, this means that ai is less, current ai element that I am subtracting it is less and the bj element is higher. That is why overall the value of sum 1 is higher. So I need to do what? I need to choose a bigger element a of i. So I need to do I++. Otherwise, so basically if someone and some two are same, then I'll say that yes, it's possible. I would return one. 
if what what can i say if the sum one is greater than sum two after the change like or you can say the value one is greater than the value two okay so in that case you can observe that if value one is greater than value two so in this case the thing is that this is because the ith element of the first array was lesser so we need to choose a higher element so that's why we'll do i plus plus okay otherwise if suppose what happens is the value two else if the value two is greater than value one so why does this happen because if the value two is bigger so this means that the bj value is less currently and i need to have a bigger bj value so that's why i'll do what i'll do j plus plus here if you will keep on moving so let's uh, let's do that so in this case you can see that the value uh, one is bigger right if the value one is coming higher so this means that the element from the second array is bigger that is why this sum is getting bigger so we need to choose a higher element from the second uh, first array as well so we'll say that we'll move to this element now after this what will happen if you will observe here so let's try and understand what's the sum now okay so now if you will see the updated value one and value two so value one will be how much value one will be nothing but 22 minus how much minus 5 plus 1 okay so this will be how much uh, 23 23 minus 5 is how much 23 minus 5 is 18 okay then after that sum 2 will be what uh, it would be nothing but you can say 14 okay minus 1 plus 5 so this will be how much uh, 14 plus 5 is 19 19 minus 1 so you can see that this will come out to be nothing but 18 here so if i change so i can observe that by making this change i'm getting equal let's check this so 22 minus 5 plus 1 so yeah 22 minus 5 plus 1 then this is coming out to be 18 because this is 23 23 minus 5 would be 18 then 14 the sum is right now 14 and yeah so if i change let's say if i put 1 here and 5 here so you'll observe that 4 plus 1 is 5 and 5 plus 13 is 18 then 5 to 7 uh, and this is also 18 yeah so i can swap and i'll get the values right so if i swap the element 5 from the first array and the element 1 from the second array then i'll get my answer so you can observe that if the sum 1 is if the value 1 is greater than the value 2 this means that ai element is lesser right because the second element the bj element that is getting in the first sum it is increasing the sum so i need a correspondingly higher element in the from the ai array so that's why i will increase the ai Otherwise, if the sum 2 is bigger, so this means that bj value is less. I need to choose a higher bj value because ai would be dominating there. So I need to choose a higher bj. So I'll increase the j value. Initially, both the indexes will start from 0. So overall, if you'll see, if the array is not sorted, then my time complexity would be how much? Order of n log n for sorting the first array plus order of m log m for sorting the second array plus order of n plus m for iterating throughout. So overall complexity is how much? n log m plus m log m okay space complexity will be basically order of one because i'm not going to take any extra space because i'll be applying the two pointer approach so let us try and uh, quickly uh, write the code so let's say we'll sort the uh, array first of all so we'll write a comma a plus m then after that we'll sort the second array also so we'll sort b comma b plus m okay after sorting i'll have some one so some one will be initially zero then i'll have some two initially zero then what I'll do is, I'll say that I'll iterate for the first array. I start from 0, i is less than n. Then we'll do i plus plus and then sum 1 plus is equal to what? a of i. Then after that, what I'll do here is, I'll say that int, let's say j starts from 0, j is lesser than m, then j plus plus. And then after that, what we'll do? Sum 2 plus is equal to what? b of i here. So let's say j, if I've taken the index as j. Okay, once I found the first array sum and second array sum originally then i'll do what then i'll say that we need to have indexes so we can start i from 0 and j from 0 then after that while the i is less than n and the j value is less than m till that point of time i'll iterate and what i'll do is i'll check what is the difference so the difference like let's do one thing if uh, so i'll check that uh, right now the value 1 will be how much? Value 1 will be sum 1 minus the ith element plus the jth element of the second array. And the value 2 will be how much? Value 2 will be nothing but sum 2 minus the jth element of the second array plus the ith element of the uh, second 
sorry minus the jth element of the second array plus the ith element of the first array. Now if the value 1 and value 2 are same, so if after swapping both the sums become same, then you will simply return 1 here or you can say true. Otherwise you will check, else if what happens is, suppose if the value 1, if it is greater than value 2, so this means that after swapping second array element must be greater, that is why first value is coming out to be greater. So we need to choose a higher value of i, so we need to choose a higher element from the first array, so that's why I increase the i value, okay. Otherwise if the value 2 is greater, so what does that mean? If the value 2 is greater, so this means that the first array element is greater, that is why it is dominating because it is always getting added here and second array element is not that big. So from the second array we need to choose a bigger element. So that's why we will do j++ and at the very end we can simply return minus 1 if we never find a suitable pair such that the sum can become equal. Let's try and compile this to check if it is working fine or not. Okay. So there is some mistake uh, in brackets. Let's try and compile it again. It should work fine now. It does work fine on the samples. Let's submit this code to check if it is getting accepted or not. So you can clearly see that my code is getting accepted. I hope that you have understood the code completely. Thank you for watching this video and keep coding. If you understood, make sure to comment understood as well. Thank you.